Hi, I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer from Marin County. Next Monday, May 4th, Marin will join other Bay Area counties in taking the first steps on the long journey towards reopening our community during the COVID-19 pandemic. The current shelter-in-place order we're operating under expires this Sunday. I'm here to explain what to expect. First, it's important to know that we can only take these first steps because of you, our community, and the way we came together to agree not to come together to shelter at home. The sacrifices you've made have saved lives and flattened the curve so far. We're in phase one of this epidemic. Dramatic measures to halt uncontrolled spread, successful, painful for all of us and our economy, life-saving, not sustainable forever, but necessary. So here are the questions facing us. How do we begin to rebuild? Knowing COVID-19 is still very much in our environment and that the vast majority of our community is still susceptible and some of us are highly vulnerable. We remain at risk of losing the gains we've made. So the answer is to move carefully, deliberately, and in collaboration across sectors and by engaging the whole community. These are the steps we'll be taking next Monday. May will involve a combination of small relaxations in the shelter in place and an interval of real preparation for the next phase of wider reopening. The changes in the order are primarily things that can be done outdoors because we know we can more easily maintain physical distancing, that these settings are lower risk for transmitting the virus. Outdoor businesses like nurseries will be allowed to engage with the public outdoors. Landscapers, gardeners, and others that provide outdoor services can resume work. Construction projects can resume as long as they meet state guidelines and follow the protocols detailed in the order. Outdoor activities like golf and non-contact sports, where physical distancing is possible, can resume. Childcare will be permitted for all persons who are now able to work under the new order, following guidelines established in the first order. Outside of these new measures, everyone should continue to stay home except for other essential travel, such as going to the grocery store or pharmacy. When you go out in public settings, Anyone over the age of 12 must wear facial covering over their nose and mouth. While we are lifting some restrictions, it is important to remember that the state sets the floor in terms of how much we can roll back any element of the shelter-in-place order. These changes reflect that the shelter-in-place order is not an on-off switch. The number of activities we can engage in, while the general rule is we are remaining sheltered at home, will increase slowly and sequentially over time. The number of businesses that may come back online, and when, is based on the ability for them to conduct business safely for both customers and employees. We will move away from the designation of essential versus non-essential and, begin, and be, begin seeing businesses or activities as either lower risk or higher risk for COVID-19 transmission. To navigate this delicate process, the County of Marin has established a recovery work group called Marin Recovers that will be part of an effort to continually reevaluate orders based on the status of the epidemic at any given time and our capacity to move forward safely. This effort will consist of the public health officer, a healthcare preparedness program, and an industry advisory group to establish safety standards for a safe reopening of our economy. Industry workgroups are being formed consisting of five to eight industry representatives to advise and develop recommendations for standards to safely resume work with public health guidance. Weekly progress reports will be provided to the County Board of Supervisors subcommittee during this process. To set expectations, the governor has indicated that the rebuilding process statewide will occur over months and not weeks, and that's likely to be our experience here in Marin as well. These are the indicators public health will be tracking to ensure we can move forward safely. First, we need adequate COVID-19 testing capacity. We're building, we're building testing capacity to ensure cases are detected as early as possible. We estimate we need 500 tests per day at least. Second, we need the ability to isolate and quarantine 
cases and perform contact investigations. Our goal is to, is to successfully reach and isolate or quarantine 90% of cases and their contacts within 24 hours moving forward. Third, medical facilities must be able to handle surge. We've been engaging our healthcare partners to ensure they can safely manage COVID-19 cases and potential surges. Fourth, monitoring trends and transmission and surge. We have to have a system where we can actually track our progress and the local spread of disease. We will be tracking respiratory illness cases and other indicators of, of potential COVID-19 activity. A measured reopening will require an unprecedented collaboration of healthcare leaders, industry, and government. Some may feel we're moving too quickly, especially as we see more cases of COVID-19, which we expect to some degree. Others will feel we're moving too slowly. Our role is to find the balance using the best available science and with the guidance and partnership of business educators, our elected leaders, and you, our community. On my end, we're learning more about this virus every day, and we'll apply that knowledge to this process. We've seen what we can accomplish when we move thoughtfully and together. We're going to need to rely on that same spirit to get us through this next chapter as we navigate the hard choices facing us. Thank you all for all you're doing to keep yourself, your family, your neighbors, and our Marin community safe.